down on the street, Honda CRX. This white body on the CRX Mark II 89 has been featured two and a half years ago in the Down on the Street photo series on the blog. Back then it looked like the build was relatively new and I shot a few photos of it. I even made an attempt to shoot a video wasabi car style, but as it was winter and the lack of ambient light made it look horrible, I decided not to post that. And then it disappeared, and it probably went back to Poland. You can imagine how happy I was to see the CRX again and this time even closer to my own home. So this time I shot the videos in my own style, on two bright sunny days, no selfie style, but rather more shooting the video and narrating afterwards. The Honda CRX obviously never came with a wide body kit, but if you google on CRX wide body you will find a variety of aftermarket body kits. The one closest to this one is the Folger MEF2 kit, but it's not entirely the same. The front fenders appear to be the one-piece fiberglass items, while the rear obviously extends of the original bodywork. The color used is most probably Electron Blue Pearl, which is only available on the USTM Honda Civics SI. The rims are deep-dished gaudy rims, and I would guess about AGA up front and 10 or 11 at the rear. Gaudy rims are produced in France and are very rare to find. You can find them mostly on Porsches and also on the white body Nissan Silvia Grand Prix S12. The first difference with the photos that I took is that the headlights magically have disappeared. Well, they have not, because they're in the driver and passenger footwells. I think the owner is currently redoing the headlights and perhaps even converting them to clear projector headlight types. But we can only guess. Another difference are the rims. It still features those beautifully deep dish Gaudi J55F rims, but they look a bit different nowadays. In the past two years they have corroded by our salty roads and this is what happens if you drive with polished alloy wheels all year round. Similar to the wheels, the interior starts to look a bit tatty. Well, actually mostly the steering wheel is starting to look tatty. Let's hope the owner addresses all these issues and makes the CRX as good as it looked before. 